I think mindfulness really has helped um, has really helped our school. It really helps kids calm down, like uh, when kids are on the playground fighting, which a lot of kids do, I've seen happen. And uh, it's just really helped our school so far. Well, it helped me like calm down, and it and it helped me um, and my friends like not be so well angry at each other anymore. It definitely makes me a, a better friend because mindfulness makes me kinder. One of the big changes is that we used to have a refocus room, and the refocus room was just what it sounds like, a room for kids who were having difficulty to go to get refocused in terms of behavior. Take three deep breaths. And the fact that we no longer have a need for a refocus room, I think speaks volumes, and I think in large part is due to the mindfulness program and kids being taught and trained how to handle their emotions better because most of the refocusing had to do with incidents that occurred because our emotions get out of control. So when we're talking about kindness, we're talking about being mindful of other people's feelings. We're talking about being mindful of kids who are being left out. We're talking about being mindful of um, being patient with kids who might be different from you or who might have some challenges. And, and I sort of try to incorporate the ideas of mindfulness into all the things that I'm teaching now. May I be healthy and strong. May I be peaceful. And just take a moment to notice what that feels like for you. Any way that you feel is fine. Just try to notice it. We start the day with just breathing in and out and breathing in all of our stress and things and taking it out. And then we're ready for the day. And we're ready to take maybe some challenges that may come in for the day. I think kids use it to help them with their focus, to help them just be calmer and happier. I mean, I can tell that this is a happy group of kids, and I really think that the majority of that has to do with the fact that they're able to identify um, happiness in themselves and identify their feelings and their thoughts, and it just works for them. Makes me like feel better and more relaxed than how I was because like when I'm mad, I get really mad and. I just like feel like I'm going crazy because I don't know, I just don't really know how I feel at that part. But then when I start breathing, I feel more relaxed and calm and more peaceful. She's aware now when she's starting to get frustrated. And so before it builds up um, in the way that it used to, she kind of knows what to do. You know, she'll go off to herself, she'll go in her room, she'll close herself off, she'll do some breathing, she'll come back, we'll talk about it. Something about breathing in and out just just helps your your body feel a lot calmer and get you back on course. Like during tests, big tests, I sometimes I'm like, ugh, oh, what if the time runs out? I'm never gonna get this done. And then I'm like, wait a second, I have mindfulness. What about I just do that? And then not once I do that, I like realize that hey, this isn't as hard after all if I just calm down. Let's get in our mindful bodies, so get up nice and tall. They understand that it, it feels good to their bodies, and they do like it, and they do ask for it, and they're excited for it. They love listening to the bell. Um, they love taking deep breaths. It's something that you can bring anywhere. Like, it's like a bag, that's how I imagine it, or it's where you can breathe and, like, Earlier today, um, somebody was, um, I said something to somebody and then they got mad at me and then I was really mad at them. But then I remembered how sometimes they got teased a lot and maybe it was because that they, it just made them feel better and mindfulness helped me not be as mad at them because even though they hurt me or whatever, it they were just doing it because that's, how they felt, and that's how they wanted to recover, so, uh, and I was fine with that. My anger just, like, totally, like, washed away. It's sort of like an ocean, like, it just sort of, like, you know how, like, the water, like, it goes up against the shore? 
That's sort of how it felt to me. I started out learning it for them, and then it's had this huge impact on my own life and on my teaching. Mindfulness is like, is like awesome. I love doing it. And if you really want the kid to be successful and go out into the world and be able to survive and, and succeed and thrive, um, this is the best skill you could give them.